There's no question that the U.S. Army's Next Generation Squad Weapon Program is the most significant small arms and small caliber ammunition program of, of the last century. But really, the name of the program is, is, is a bit misleading. You know, at True Velocity, we see this more as an ammunition program than a weapon program. And the problem is that we're currently sending our soldiers and Marines onto the battlefield firing 5.56 with a 62 gram projectile, a 55 gram projectile at an adversary that's got superior ammunition, uh, greater effective range, and, and who's now wearing level three body armor. So we're in this position of overmatch. So the U.S. Army decided that we were gonna take a, a government proprietary projectile and a 6.8 cartridge. We were gonna send that projectile further and faster downrange, and we were gonna reduce the weight of the ammunition by over 20% minimum. What we've done is basically made a round that is the same size as a 7.62. But this round here, the new round, has much more energy than what this round does, by far. I think the Army's assumption was that in doing so, in achieving that enhanced level of ballistic performance, that we were gonna have to deal with higher than normal chamber pressures, thus the need for next-gen weapons. And while we're seeing some phenomenal weapons coming out of General Dynamics and, and Lone Star Future Weapons, you know, really, if True Velocity 6.8 TVCM is capable of achieving that level of enhanced ballistic performance while keeping chamber pressures at a normal operating level, then it begs a philosophical question. Do we really need these next-gen weapons? Why couldn't we take existing weapons like an M240 or an M110 and with nothing more than a barrel swap, accommodate the 6.8 cartridge and achieve that enhanced level of ballistic performance? The first thing we did was take a 308 Winchester Remington 700 and with nothing more than a barrel swap, we were effectively and efficiently firing 6.8 through that weapon. Next, we went down to Knight's Armament. We worked with Reed Knight and his team to take his light assault machine gun. Again, with nothing more than a simple barrel swap, we're running 6.8 through that weapon and achieving unprecedented ballistic performance. We went down to Dillon Arrow. We took the M134 rotary machine gun, the minigun, and with nothing more than a barrel swap and a couple of minor adjustments to that weapon, you're now firing 6.8 through the minigun and significantly increasing your effective range and lightening the load, not only for the guys on the ground, but also for our rotary assets. Finally, we went to the M240 Bravo here, uh, and again, nothing more than a barrel swap, and we're accommodating 6.8. So, I mean, you're talking about something as simple as pulling a barrel off the 240 and replacing it with one that accommodates 6.8, and all of a sudden, You've increased the effective range of this weapon by more than 50%. You've reduced the weight of the ammunition by over 30%, and you've given our soldiers a meaningful advantage on the battlefield. And so ultimately, True Velocity is an American-owned, American-based company that set out with a singular goal in mind, and it was to provide the American warfighter with an unfair advantage on the battlefield. And the Next Generation Squad Weapon Program has given us the opportunity to do that. Not only have we been able to bring to fruition and to field a 6.8 TVCM cartridge capable of unprecedented ballistic performance, increased accuracy, single digit SDs in muzzle velocity, 30% weight reduction over 7.62 brass cased ammo, but we're able to accommodate that ballistic performance not only in next generation weapons, but in currently fielded weapons that were initially designed for 7.62. And so all of a sudden, not only do we have this forward-leaning momentum with next-generation capabilities, but we've got a plug-and-play application that can be fielded on the battlefield today 
with weapons that our soldiers are carrying into battle, like the 240, like the M110, like the minigun. And I think for our team at True Velocity, you know, this is the opportunity of a lifetime and we're seizing the moment.